What is up guys, Austin Richo here at Backplay Jurassic World Evolution, continuing on with our gameplay here, and this time we are going to be building Jurassic World, we're actually not going to be building the Jurassic World like, you know, like other people have where they've pretty much tried to recreate it, we're just going to be building on East Lanublar here, and so I've got the picture thing here on the entrance, so that's why it's sitting in this sort of form, but ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jurassic World and so here of course is where we're starting off with the monorail system coming into the park so I've not I was gonna say I haven't done anything but as you can see I have done something so I completely cleared off all of the trees and everything flat in the land and then went ahead and put a, a border wall all the way around just so I know what parameters I have to work in and all that sort of stuff so this is um, gonna just be my vision of a park it's not gonna be you know based off any I mean it's gonna take ideas and stuff from the main islands and everything but it's not gonna be based off really anything so what I'm gonna do is just start out by putting out that um, at least we'll go that way I don't know if I want it farther but I just wanted to straight out so this is gonna be our main area so then we're gonna take um, off little spots Let's go ahead and get one off we'll see until it can go there we go we'll do one that way and now it's not snapping snap there we go so we'll just add that out then we're gonna go ahead and go through and add each of the buildings we're just gonna pretty much repeat the same thing so we'll go into guest I do want to put a monorail station but I don't know where I want it because obviously if I add it I would need to like copy it which I guess maybe not be may not be such a bad thing um, we just have to repeat it which wouldn't be too bad of course we have to like waste a lot of space and everything actually if we get rid of these two things let's go ahead and get so with this gameplay I wanted just to mention this is gonna be like a complete playthrough I mean I may every now and then do stuff off camera but everything I do in this game is going to be shown on camera here so it's not gonna be anything too exciting like most things I do not too exciting want to get this as close as possible Can we go like right on top of this thing? The only of course problem issue is I'm not going to be even on both sides. So let's go actually start with this side first. And then we can kind of try and match up the opposite side. So let's see if we can get... This does look pretty straight on to... So go ahead and place that one down there. Then we'll come over and do another one just to get this started out. So it's, you know, pretty right from the beginning. You can either get on a monorail and then we'll try and get them to connect. I can't tell maybe this way because I think I did get that lined up yeah it looks lined up I need a better view of this thing Why is it? okay building wise at least along here does look pretty similar now we'll go ahead and do the off-roads Here, yeah, I think that's pretty much there we go. So you'll be able to hop on a monorail. And so we'll take it, you know, out from this way, wind the monorail around all the way around the park and come back to the beginning here. And so that is where we will start off. So now we're going to go through and just add each of the buildings. We'll go ahead and do, um, like I said, we're just going to add each of the buildings. So we're just going to do this design details so as soon as it turns blue replacing it then we're gonna go um, so that's a restaurant so we don't want a, another food place right next to it we will go with 
a shopping and I'll just repeat this pretty much the exact same on the other side and I'm just gonna go through and add each of these buildings um, then we'll do maybe the bowling alley and then We'll do a toy shop. And then I'm whatever this is gonna be, I'm gonna rip, um, do the opposite. So on this side, I definitely want this side over here to be the clothes shop. So that means at the very end of the row on the left has to be the clothes shop. Um, so we got that. So we got the toys. Then we'll go with arcade. Then bar. Actually, we'll put the bar because I want the bar also. Where's the, I always forget where the stuff is placed. The bar will be placed here. So that means it's got to go second to the last bar so we've got the fossil fossil zone we did the bowling alley the we did we do the arc I thought we did the arcade so the arcade maybe we did the guess so we got fast food we'll do the fast food Okay, we need to extend our path out. Okay, and then, oh yeah, I meant to add little spaces in between. I forgot to do that, oh well. Um, Cause it's already taken up much more room than I thought it would. So we've got the arcade, so we need, oh yeah, the fast food is what I was adding. Or was that what this was? Yeah, that's fast food. So we got the gift shop, fast food, arcade, toy shop, fossil zone. So it looks like fossil zone and then the bar and the clothes shop. Bar. And the clothes shop. -y. There we go, so I'll wait till these get built so I make sure I have the right buildings all put down. And so this is obviously just your main street with all the uh, food and restaurant stuff. So that's pretty much going to be the main area. And like I said, I was hoping to put little side roads in here because I wanted to put um, like hotels on each side. Oh, shoot, I really want to do that. So how many other? One, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine of course there's not an even number to split them in half okay sweat all of that so we got clothes shop bar fossil zone fast food arcade toy shop bowling alley gift shop and restaurant is that everything on here obviously not that stuff we got gift shop, fast food, arcade, toy shop, fossil zone, bar, clothes shop, bowling alley, and restaurant. That is everything. So I need to make the decision here. Do I want... Um, okay, let's actually go ahead and just add the stuff so then it's the fossil zone. And I'll see if there's some restaurant that's evenly divided because sometimes, you know, they not everything lines up. So we'll have to see if something will be divided. Then we've got the fast food. Then the arcade. We're going to the arcade. Arcade, there we go, arcade. Then we got the toy shop. And then the bowling alley. Bowling. Bowling alley. 
Then it's the gift shop. And the last one should be the restaurant, I believe. There we go, and they should be perfectly even across. I think that'll be fine. And then we'll go ahead and thin that out a little bit. Take these straight off there. Like that. And then it'd be cool to do this straight across. And then we'll delete these. Oh, that did not work. Now, can we delete this this little bit off? Sometimes you can get the little tiny bits. Maybe not. There we go. Now, if only I could get these to exactly match up, that would be awesome. Oh, that was not right. Get it. Come on, just place. that time we can delete the little thing off now let's see if it even whoops wrong one it does look pretty even which is what we want okay now let's go ahead and then we'll do so we're gonna put then the innovation center right at the very end down here oh yeah let's see if we can delete this there we go the little tab off there then we'll try and place this. Now does that look straight? Looks pretty good. And then we will take and place each of the other things. So we'll do the... Um whatever you call this thing. So let's actually first so we'll just do straight lines here for that to there and now let's go ahead and add in our buildings here so we'll do the science see if we can get it any more straightened up than what it is It's gonna be as good as we can get it probably. And then we'll do the security, which is much less exciting and doesn't look nearly as good. 
How far out did that go? Good enough for that. Okay, now let's go ahead and add in all the hotels. Oops, we need guest hotels. So on this park, I'm gonna have, um, cause obviously this is a free play sandbox. So I'm not gonna have anything too crazy or dramatic going on. Like I've turned on where dinos can die, but they won't break out. We have unlimited feeders and all sorts of stuff like that so it should be pretty um i mean it's gonna be easier on us but it's not gonna be you know like super easy or anything which i mean still gonna be super easy just not having dinosaurs die is the only thing or having dinosaurs die will be the only thing we have to really deal with Gonna try and squeeze in as many hotels as I can along in here. Guess I should try and see. Perfect. Well, as close to perfect as I can be. Looks like maybe one more hotel. We'll squeeze right down in here. There we go. And so it should be pretty much the same. Obviously, the hotel this it'd be nice if the hotel thing was centered because obviously now I want to place one right down here but I don't but because it's not offset it's gonna look a little bit different on each side which is gonna stink a little bit there we go it'd be nice if you could just like copy the hotels so that way it'd be, always be the same settings and every like positioned in the right say it, direction and everything okay. but this is all like the hotels and stuff this is all we're gonna have in the park we're not gonna put them anywhere else So they're not going to be scattered anywhere else just here but then we will put little shopping stuff because of trying to at least get you know five stars or something like that just as much as we can in the park and how many is that for yeah, we'll just leave the gap over there. And then, so now we will come through and add in our power. So we'll just add uh, substations all over around in here. Place our first one there. Actually, let's go ahead and put in a path to let's do it in a different color here. Uh, stop being obstructed.
Then we'll leave a gap behind the hotels. Why is it snapping there? It doesn't look straight. It may just be the angle I'm at or something. Okay, let's see what we can delete. Obviously, it's just going to delete the whole thing. Once again, let's delete that side. There we go. And hopefully all of it will be able to fit on this side. Like it'd be nice to if I could cover these up somehow. But I don't think I'm going to be able to. Oh yeah, we got all sorts of ground issues back in here I guess. Try and get them straightened up. Whoops, hitting the wrong button. Come on, go away, terrain constraints. We don't want you here. Again, not perfect not I'd like to use up more of the room but you know just we can only do what we can do I guess let's see if I doubt it but let's see if we can get one more large squeezed in over here I somewhat doubt it doesn't look like this. So let's go with mediums then, wherever we can fit a medium in, which I have a feeling won't be in here as well. Come on, I can't get it to straighten up a little. Oh, it's not going to fit there either. Let's go with, see if we can get, oops, get any smalls in here. Ugh, this is not working. Place the little one there at least. <laughs> well, at least we're getting some power. <laughs> Ran to the bar. We'll have to find a place, um, I guess, to kind of like hide it, you could say. Um, let's go with a substation. Try and sit it right here in between. This looks to be about halfway at least.
Yep, even though they're through there, it's obstructed. Which is what I was afraid of. Okay, let's... Come off of this one. At least I'm going to try and make this nice looking. There we go. And there we go. So is everything power now? Um, it's not showing that this is, which of course, obviously want to put more substations down. So it looks like we maybe put one over here. Since this will pretty much be unused area anyways actually we'll put it closer like that and then we'll put one up here as well let's go like this Put it there by security, kind of just fill up some of this area here. There we go. So everything, oh, except for this. So everything should be power now. Wrong thing. Pylon. So all we have is the incomplete track to go. So is there, I say, is there even people in the park? But I guess there should not be because we don't have any dinos at all in the park. So it should be um, empty. So I think that's pretty much it for this. Let's go ahead and add just trees in wherever we can. Oh yeah, and we got to upgrade. Let's so do outage protection three on each of these. And then improved output three. For the rest. And then pretty much similar thing. I think we can go with two because yeah that's 20 and then an outage per, or improved yeah for 20. On the small one there it's too bad we can't fit. I was like why is it not? It should be flat but I forgot about the um, hill going up in there because I based all the flatness off of the monorail here so it wouldn't look weird or anything but of course it's not uh, working out to be exactly how I would want it Let me do all these real quick no that's wrong outage protection I don't have any storms, so I don't think besides like a sabotage or something, which I don't even know if those happen on here because you don't do task or anything. So I don't know what you'd have to worry about, but um, I'll have to look it up because it'd be cool to just put all improved outputs. That way we have, you know, as much as possible. We'll go ahead and max out the trees here and just fill this all in with trees. in through here there we go um, so then on this side we'll go ahead and just take a path and we'll switch back to this because this will be and then we'll just start curling it around this way like that we'll do the same it's gonna say the same on this side but actually we'll just Take this side out like that and then of course we'll start putting dinosaurs and all sorts of stuff on this side and then we'll also 
take things straight out of each of these. Does that look good? No, it does not this side. I like that side more though. Actually, let's. I like that other this side better, the wider. But if it'll look better overall on this way, we'll do that. Yeah, that does look pretty much better. And then, of course, we'll spread it off from there. And then we'll start building all our park over in this way over here. And it should look pretty cool and good, hopefully. Hopefully it all works. And everything will be cool. So that I think is going to be it for today. Then the next we'll start putting in dino. Um, dinosaurs. <laughs> dino. We'll start putting in dinosaurs. And uh, hopefully we'll look all nice and cool. We'll go into our special camera mode here. And go down and start walking through the park. And so this is what it's going to look like for each of the guests. This is the design. Ugh, it's... That's one thing I was worried about is getting two items too close to each other, which is the arcade, I guess. Which doesn't really matter. It's fine. We can have double arcades. And we go into our innovation center. Then we got the um, security and science or entertainment. Is that? No, that should be science. This should be entertainment. It would be cool if we could go into the front door. But we're here at the innovation center of the um, science. Oh, look at the doors. I've never got this close to look at it. Oh, there's a pterodactyl. And all sorts of dinosaurs and bones and stuff, which looks really cool. And then it's a big shape of an egg. I absolutely love the innovation or the whatever innovation center here. I forget what it's called, like Jurassic Park, but I don't think it's the same. But it just looks so cool, and I absolutely love this. There's the spino head, of course, on the restaurant there, and it just looks so cool. So that's gonna be it for this episode. Like I said, in the next episode, we'll start putting dinos in the park and start getting the park laid out with dinosaurs and everything. And I hope you enjoyed this because I thought, you know, it's obviously just a pretty simple and plain video of, you know, just um, not really doing much besides building. But I think it makes the park really cool just to start out like this and everything. Actually, let's see if we can get done with this. And let's, um, no, we need, should get this one probably. And show the view. So there you can see how all the hotels, we got eight hotels. Of course, you can see the power on that side which isn't cool but you can see the buildings and shops and everything and that is pretty cool so i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did be sure to let me know in the comments down below don't forget to leave a thumbs up for the channel and subscribe to see more in the continuation of building on the sandbox here of isla nublar our own version of jurassic world and i think a much more symmetrical and nice version of course after this all the pins and stuff will be all sorts of different shapes so it won't be so nice but i want to thank you for watching please come back and join me again in this jurassic world and we will see you next time ladies and gentlemen